So I have to be completely honest, there is probably one of the worst iPhone deals I've ever seen probably in my life, and it's tailored to be some sort of like sale from Apple, but I don't really understand where they're trying to go with this specific device. And again, it's the iPhone SE 2022 model. Now I don't want to just keep hitting on this phone and hating on it because I talk about it all the time, but Apple kind of ran at this $50, you know, Black Friday sale. So essentially, if you were to pick up one of these iPhones, in this case, it would be an, you know, iPhone SE 3. They say you get, you know, this $50 Apple gift card with your purchase. Now in, my now, in my opinion, the iPhone SE 3 is probably $200 overpriced for what it actually should be sold for, in my opinion. I feel like that iPhone is probably like a $250 iPhone. So for it only getting a $50 gift card for that device, I think it's severely limiting and I feel like it should be way higher than that in my opinion. I feel like it should be $100 or $150 if you're buying the iPhone SE 3. Now that is the one thing I wanted to say. Now there was another deal that Apple ended up doing which is the same exact deal for their other devices. And I do think for those other phones like the iPhone 12 and maybe even the iPhone 13, those are way better options for $599 for the iPhone 12. Not, you know, the cheapest phone of all time, but that is a way better deal because you're getting $50 off and you're getting a phone that's going to be way more capable than the iPhone SE 3. But when compared to, because you can compare these phones to used phones and all those other things, at Walmart and a lot of other phone manufacturers were running their own deals and I've talked about this a lot and I've compared these two devices together but for an iPhone 11 the hardware right now it is a prepaid smartphone it's locked to straight talk according to the website but they were running a specific deal where for $200 you can buy an iPhone 11 that is a way better deal and just kind of keep this in the back of your head again if you're using straight talk if you're not then that's going to be completely dependent on what you're going to be doing but the craziest thing at least from what I can see is the hardware of the iPhone 11 is so much better than the hardware of the iPhone SE 3. And the fact that an iPhone 11 is being sold for $200 when it easily was just being sold not too long ago for like $499 is actually pretty insane to me how you know well this iPhone is holding up. Now on top of that, another crazy thing is through the same you know straight talk carrier, an iPhone SE 2020 model is being sold for $99. In my personal opinion, that is crazy how deep these phones have been discounted. And again, I'm not saying that this phone is, you know, the one you should buy over that one because this one is a lot of straight talk, but the hardware itself, the fact that you can buy one of these devices for $100 or $200 for the iPhone 11 or iPhone SE 2 is actually pretty insane considering how expensive the iPhone SE 3 is. And really, you're not getting that much crazier of a better phone. The hardware of the iPhone 11, I would argue, is better. And the difference between an iPhone SE 2 and iPhone SE 3, it's not really that crazy big of a difference. So I feel like if you're getting an iPhone SE 3, you should probably get, you know, at least $100 off that device. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.